y'all. So, in the first video, or the first clip, I haven't decided if I'm going to do this all in one big video, or have it come out in separate videos. But in the first video and or clip, I went over how to balance your smart device in your SmoothQ gimbal. Now, I just want to take a second to go over, over all the modes on the gimbal and the different controls on the, uh, the joystick here. So that's what we're going to go over next. So we're going to angle the camera down here so you can see everything and we're going to go through these modes. Now right here the first button you're going to see on the gimbal controls is the record button if you're using the ZY Play app but this also doubles as the power on and off button. So you press and hold it to power the gimbal on and the first thing it's going to do is turn on the Bluetooth and pair to a connected device. If it's not paired, it's going to pop up in your Bluetooth settings. So this is the first button, the power on and off record button as well. All right, so this will control whether or not you take photos or videos in your ZY Play app. The next dial right next to that, this is a zoom slider. So this is how you can control the zoom of your device inside of the ZY Play app, okay? So you tap it back slightly to zoom in and out um, in small increments or you press and hold it to zoom in and out in larger increments, okay? So that's that. So that goes over the power on and off button or record and sh a shutter button and the zoom slider. The next button above that is the mode button. And this is how you would toggle through the modes that your smooth cube gimbal can do. All right. So we're going to do this in real time so y'all can see. Okay. So let me power on the gimbal here. It snaps to attention and now it's ready. Let me angle this up some so y'all can get a general idea of how everything works. So the first mode that the gimbal comes on by by default is follow mode so you pick up the gimbal and all you gotta do is turn it and the motors will follow the way you turn the whole gimbal itself as you can see there so as I turn the motors will follow now this is follow mode this gives you full range from right to left okay now if you want to adjust the up and down angle of the gimbal, you would have to do that by the joystick. Now in follow mode, you can only do up and down uh, controls on the joystick, okay? So y'all can see as I pan up, it goes up. As I pan down, it goes down, so on and so forth, okay? Now if I want to do right to left on the joystick, it won't do that in follow mode, okay? So that's mode number one, that's follow mode on the smooth Q gimbal okay now the next mode is what I like to call joystick full control or joystick mode and to get to that mode you just tap the mode button once okay and now as you can see as I demonstrate even if I turn my wrist the gimbal itself is not going to move because now we have full control of the gimbal via the joystick. So if I pan down, it goes down and I could pretty much go down till it stops or I can pan up and do the same thing, go up till it stops, so on and so forth. Also, I can pan right and left with the joystick and this gives me full orientational control. So you can see 360 degree rotation to the right or the left. So I can rotate it back this way, full 360 degree controls. So this is full joystick control mode. This is mode number two. Alright, now the next mode we have, and this is one of my favorites here, okay. The next mode we have is the handheld mode. And pretty much what this mode does is you double tap the mode button twice and then the way you tilt your wrist, that's the way the motors on the gimbal will follow. So I could tilt my wrist up, it will go up. I could tilt my wrist down, it can go down. I could tilt my wrist, my wrist from left to right, it will go from left to right. So let me demonstrate this for you guys and gals. So we're going to double tap. All right. And now we should be in pan mode here, our handheld mode here. And you can see as I tilt my wrist... 
it goes the same way I tilt my wrist. Now, if I tilt down, you can see it goes down. If I tilt up, you can see it goes up. Just like that. And this is actually my favorite mode to use because this is the mode that requires the least amount of effort from the user. Okay? So that's mode number three. That's handheld mode, and in my opinion, that's the mode that I would recommend you use depending on the angle or the shot you're trying to get, okay? And the last mode here is what I like to call vlog style mode or selfie mode, okay? And in order to get to that last mode, you have to triple press the mode button. So let's do that here, okay? And as you can see... When you triple press the mode button, the whole motor spins around 180 degrees to let this way you can use your main, your camera's main, your device's main camera to do whatever you need to do. So if you wanted to do a vlog video, but you know your front facing cameras are trash and you have this gimbal, you can use your rear facing cameras to record your video. Alright, and this mode you can use in conjunction with all of the other modes here. So, not only will it stay in the mode that I was previously in, so I was previously in handheld mode, and you can see, see it's still in that mode, but if I wanted to put it in a different mode and keep it in uh, selfie mode or vlog mode, I can do that, okay? Now... Let's go over how you switch between the modes because that's another important thing I think it's important to know. Now, if you want to get out of vlog mode or selfie style mode, you have to triple press again. Okay, and then it takes you out. Now, if you want to go back to a corresponding mode, it's just a single press takes you back. Okay, so right now, I'm still in handheld mode right now. Y'all can see, and if I want to go back to joystick mode for some reason, tap the mode button once. Now handheld mode is gone. Now I'm back in joystick mode, and I can only control the gimbal via the onboard joystick, as y'all can see here. So once again, we can pan up, we can pan down, left, right. Y'all get the idea. That's joystick mode. Now, if I want to go back to follow mode, I have to tap the joystick one more time. Boom. And now we're back in follow mode. So now you can see I can't go right to left on the joystick, but I can go up and down. And if I pick everything up, the gimbal will try to follow me as I tilt from left to right, but it won't follow me on the up and down axis. So you can see if I tilt up and down, the uh, tilt up and down axis remains the same. Okay? Now, let's say you wanted to get a slightly different angle in between the modes or you wanted to adjust your gimbal or your device in the gimbal to get like a sideward angle. You would do that from um, <clears throat> handheld mode, okay? So let's say I wanted to tilt the axis of the gimbal so it was slightly this way. What I would need to do is go into handheld mode to do that. So I double tap. Now we're in handheld mode. And now you can see if I want to adjust the tilt angle or the side angle, I can do that using the joystick. Okay. Now I can't do up and down orientation here. I could just do side angles. So if you wanted to get a particular shot and you needed like a side tilt to do that, you can do that, and then in conjunction with the handheld mode, you can get a particular shot. Alright, so I just wanted to show y'all that, just so y'all get an idea of what you can do inside of the different modes. Alright, so in this video, we walk through all the different modes and functionality of the Smooth Q gimbal. I hope you guys and gals find it helpful, and I'll catch you guys and gals in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.